Hi friends! I purchased the Shark Smooth Style Heated Comb Straightener and Smoother. I got this at Sephora. It retails for 130 Canadian dollars, so it's not cheap. But I got it because I was curious if this type of tool works. So what it is, it's a heated comb technology where it uses this comb to blow dry your hair and then it has these ceramic plates in here that are supposed to smooth out your hair and style your hair and take away the frizz. So basically get the blowout look from a salon but at home and you do it yourself. So of course I was like yes I would like to try that because I cannot do a blowout at home if my life depended on it. So in this video I will do a demo for you guys blow drying my hair from wet to dry and show you what that looks like and how I use it and then I'll also do a demo using the ceramic plates in here to style my hair take away the frizz and give it that final polished look and I'll also give you my review of course and my thoughts if I think this product is worth it so if you want to see all that keep watching Let's talk a little bit about what this product is. So this is the Shark Smooth Style Tool. It has a brush with nylon bristles and boar bristles to grab and smooth the hair. And it has this heated smoothing comb technology that comes with the ceramic coated plates that are designed to maximize hair volume and add shape to your hair. It also has a cool touch tip you can hold on to for more control while you're styling your hair. This tool comes with four settings, three preset air temperature settings to dry hair. So basically this is your blow dryer and one preset heated smoothing comb setting for dry hair to smooth frizz and style the hair. When you're using the dry setting to style your hair, you'll notice that there's a yellow or orange light that shows up under the ceramic plates and that's there to show you that the plates are heating up and once it turns green, it's ready to use. One thing to remember is that this light only shows up when you're using the dry hair mode. Once you're done using the dry hair mode to straighten and smooth the hair, turn it off and set it somewhere safe so that it cools down before you store it. Now let's get into the wet hair mode demo and see how this styler does. They recommend that your hair is at least 70% air dry before you start to use this tool, but as a general rule, your hair should be at least 50% air dry before you start blow drying your hair with any tool. Next, they recommend detangling your hair before using the tool, and this helps prevent hair breakage while styling because there will not be as much tension on the hair when using the shark brush since the hair is already detangled. And now I'm going to section my hair into smaller sections so they dry faster and I get just better control when it comes to styling. Now I'm going to spray my hair with some heat protectant, brush that through, and I'm going to use the brush on the highest setting out of the three dry settings to dry my hair. I start by placing the brush at the root of my hair and I hold it there for about three seconds because this adds more volume to the root. Then while holding the cool tip on the other end, I pull the brush through. This gives me more control over the tool itself. Then I go over that section one or two more times depending on how long it takes until the hair is fully dry. Now I'm going to repeat the process on the next section and I find that no matter how hard I try or how good the tool is, the hair on this side of my head just never styles as nicely as the other side. It always takes a bit more effort and a bit more work. Do you guys have the same experience where the hair on one side of your head is harder to style than the other? Now I continue the process section by section, pulling the brush through, making sure that the hair is fully dry before I move on to the next section. The one thing I have to say that really impresses me about this tool is how much volume it gives my hair. I mean, look at that. Whoa, it is serious volume. When it comes to styling the hair at the back, it's pretty easy though. Full disclosure, I almost dropped this tool like three times while doing this. So holding that cool tip really helps give you some control over the tool. Though for me, it's a bit awkward to hold, but overall it was pretty easy. A heart speed to the city streets We begin to feel the fire We rise like tall buildings As the chemicals they take us higher The night's young And it's just begun As she puts her hand in mine We wanna chase the night The last 
last feature on this tool, which is the dry hair mode and see how it actually styles the hair. Once I turn the settings to dry hair mode, the orange light will go on right under the ceramic plates, which indicates that they're heating up. For the dry hair mode, I did not have the patience to sit there and section my hair into smaller sections again and go through it section by section. I generally don't have that kind of patience when it comes to styling my hair. So I decided to just take random sections of my hair and run the ceramic plates through and see if it actually did a good job. So if it added shape, if it removed frizz, and if it can actually add shine and just give me an overall polished look. And I have to say, I was really impressed. Not only did it do all those things, it added really nice shape. It styled my hair a bit nicer. It removed some of the frizz, added shine but it also kept the volume that I had from when I was blow drying it because I generally use a straightener to add that polish and when I do, it takes away some of that volume that I had from blow drying my hair, but with this tool, I got to keep the volume and the shape and it removed the frizz and added some shine. So I was super impressed with this. All done, hair styled, ready to go and paint the town. I wasn't painting anything, but I am really impressed with how nice this tool made my hair look and how well it styled my hair. Now for my final thoughts. I think overall, this is a great tool. I think it does a really good job at styling the hair. I think it gives you a beautiful blowout look like you went to the salon, but you're doing it yourself. So that's great. A few things I didn't love about it. Um, one was I did find the handle a bit clunky to hold. Um, even in the more narrow part, it just, it felt a bit clunky to me. Um, I do like this little nub they got up here that you can hold on to and you get just a better grip on the tool itself when you're styling your hair. This is heatless up here, so it's safe to hold while the, the styler is on. I didn't, uh, I also didn't love that these bristles, these black bristles you see here, when I first used it, about five of them fell out. And then each time I used it after that, two more fell out. So that was a bit concerning. I was like, oh, that's that's not great. Um, and then the last thing, this is more of like, hey, maybe don't use it this way. I did see some people online using it to kind of create a bit more of a curl in their hair by twisting it to get more of a wave. I tried it that way and I did notice that my hair got caught in here. Um, or there was a bit of hair breakage. So maybe just stick to using it as a regular uh, straightening tool. But overall, it does what it says it's going to do. It straightens the hair beautifully. I mean, I love how bouncy my hair feels, how lightweight it feels. I can run my fingers through it so easily. It just feels great. And there's a nice level of shine to it. So overall, it does a really great job. But I have to be honest with you guys, as much as I love this tool and I think it's amazing and it does such a good job, I am not someone that would consistently use this. I honestly do not see myself using this consistently to style my hair. It would end up just sitting in my drawer and I'd pick it up once in a while when I felt like using it and I had the time. This takes me 25 minutes to do my hair, about 25 minutes, and a big chunk of that is just blow drying the hair. I don't like feeling that type of heat. Just, I just don't like it. I hate how like that heat feels around my ears and stuff. It's just me. It's, it's my own issues. I don't love that. So for me, my method of flipping my hair upside down and using my blow dryer to dry my hair for five minutes, I can handle that. That mentally I'm prepared to handle and I can do it. But this is, it takes me too long. And I just find that for me, it would just not be used. So I feel like it, this is like a breakup I'm having with a great guy where, you know, it's not him, it's me. So really like, it's definitely not you, it's me, it's my own issues. But I highly recommend this product. I think it's great. I think it does a great job. If you want to cut down on the amount of products that you have to style your hair and you just want a simple hair straightener that gives you a nice blowout look, this is fantastic. It's actually really great, it does a great job. But for me, we're just not compatible, so this is where the road ends for us. Just to be completely clear, I'm not closing the door on any potential reconciliation between me and this hairbrush. I may one day regret returning it and I'll wanna buy it again. So the potential is there that I might repurchase this, but for now, I just know in my bones that I will not use it, so I'm returning it.
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments if you have tried this product before, what your thoughts were. Let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to make or products you'd like me to review. I love hearing from you. Thank you again, and I will see you next time.